boys, I've kept this a secret for a long time. I was a playtester for this game, and now it is finally out for the public. So I'm allowed to show you the game. Today, we're going to be playing Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. So let's get straight into this, because I am recording this after. So yeah, uh, here's me reacting to the opening scene. As young witches and wizards, we all dream about soaring through the we sky do. our favorite heroes. <laughs> when it comes to Quidditch, yep. we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? Yes, we have. To beat my toughest opponents? Kaboom! To keep my composure when it matters most. Ooh. To chase my dreams at any price. Oh. Yeah. To seek glory for my team. Because someday, that dream could become a reality. Yes, it can. And the road won't always be easy. No, it won't. Oh. Oof. Oof. Ow. But if you just keep getting back on your broom and trust in your yes. teammates. <coughs> Where is that stadium? Quidditch is magic. Ginny. So ask yourself again. Do you have what it takes? I think do I you do. Have the heart? of a Quidditch champion. Oh. We'll go here. Body type. I'm pretty big. We'll do that. We'll go there. I got blue eyes. We'll get myself a s there. We'll go there. Pronouns. He. Him. Him. Hair. Is there like. Do they got my hair? Close enough. Do I want glasses? We'll give myself glasses. Why not? Yep. They only give. Oh, the casual Hogwarts one. Oh. We'll do that. We'll do Hufflepuff, and we'll do this Hufflepuff. Let's continue! Oh, what is this? Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. And for okay. me, that's in our own backyard. Yep. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch. Is this, wind blowing in the trees is this is the actual proud. voice of Ginny commentating this? Can you if so, that's really cool. If so, that's very sick. Um, so as I said in the intro, I actually was a playtester for this game. Welcome to our backyard. So, pitch. before you take flight, you right trigger. Sure you're comfortable on your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle. Oh, double check ew. your grip position. Restart because I I want it to be right trigger because that's what I that's what that's how I learned it on um, in playtesting because that was the option. Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's right sure trigger. On your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle and double check your grip position. It just doesn't. Okay. Well, I guess we're using um, left stick. Oh. Maybe I didn't. Maybe what do you I think up. Oh, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, try some adjustments. I didn't miss one though. Um, okay, can I skip this? Because, like, 
I know how to play this game already. You won't get. Bro, I'm gonna skip this. I'll come back. Okay, so it looks like we're into the first like game thing. I don't quite know. Oh, we're playing against Molly. Okay, I don't know who's on this team. But... Um. I'm him. Give me that. Passes to his teammate. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Where the heck is this dude at? There. Oh. But that's an intercept. What a great pass. Ah, up there. Keep moving it downfield. <laughs> you gotcha. Got him. Got him. That's the final whistle. On mom's found the flubber worm in the toilet. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get it. So I finally finished all the tutorials. That took way too long. So we're going to be going for this, but we're going to be playing as a seeker and a chaser. So when I played this, they actually let you, there was like six people per team. They like had full teams of people when I played this before. So, um, Definitely not how this is anymore. Oh. Oh. Um. Is someone already the... Is someone already the seeker? Oh, this no one's... Rita Skeeter so now there's only three people per team? This is Rita Skeeter for the Daily Prophet, bringing you exclusive coverage of the Quidditch So also, World I did my thing. So, it linked my account because I have Hogwarts Legacy. I missed. Um. Keeper, do some. Incredible shot. So when I used to play this in the beta testing. Um, oh. The portal is past. What? No shot that missed. Okay. I am really just kind of waiting on Vita made short work of that player. She I'm... makes a pass. Oh, nope, that's not it. And it through the goal. Oof. This is rough. Quaffle. When is the snitch? When is the snitch gonna spawn? No shot, the snitch just isn't gonna spawn. Quaffle is loose. 
He goes for the shot. Oh, he snitch. Takes the shot, but the shot me this. goes wide. Put me here, put me here, put me here. Where's this stupid... The quaffle is shot. Is that the it? The keeper stops the no. quaffle. Where is the snitch? He passes the quaffle. Oh. I can hear it. There's the snitch, but who will be the first to catch it? There's a quaffle pass. Come here. And the quaffle is in. Come here. No shot. So this game's been out for a couple days, but this is genuinely my first time playing it uh, since beta testing ended, which was a couple months ago, because uh, I was in beta test group one. So. Yo, team, can someone, like, take out this seeker? This seek, the new seeking mechanic is stupid. To bump the other seeker now? The seeker has the to snitch. catch this, to bump, it used to not be like, now you have to do like this. Chaser fumbles. This is stupid. What the heck? This game was not this, this game's gotten worse since the beta testing. Like, it really has. This game is so much worse now. There's a quaffle pass. No one's there? Okay. Ouch. A hit like that is bound to leave more than just physical scars. The chaser pass. There you go. Get... I don't have... I don't even have the quaffle anymore. There's the shot. The keeper blocks the goal without breaking a sweat. There's a quaffle pass. Get here, get here, get here. And that's a goal. I also just watched the keeper just not do it. This is this game's worse than it was in beta testing. How can you make a game worse after test How can you make a game worse after beta testing is over? Oh. He misses the shot. There's a quaffle I already pass. see the snitch. He takes the snitch is revealed. Nice save. Where is the snitch gone? Okay. He takes the chance. The chaser scores. Dude, can the beaters? Is anyone playing as a beater, dude? Oh my gosh. The quaffle is shot. How is he catching up to me? The quaffle is passed. Give it your all in this last minute. Uh. And the shot misses. Come here. There's a quaffle pass. Come here. Give me that. I'm not easily impressed. But even Give me that. Not We're going to lose though cuz Do something. 30 seconds. It goes wide of the hoop. There's a quaffle pass. There's the shot and it's There we go. The 
I'm gonna lose my first game. <laughs> and that's the game. Let's take a look at the standings. Uh. This has been Rita Skeeter, your source for all the hottest news, gossip, and Quidditch. Farewell. This game really has gotten so much worse since the last time I played this game. I'm not gonna lie. Moonstone, some Quidditch gloves, skill points, Moonstone. Um, return to lobby. Wh okay. You used to be able to do this with like seven people. Like six people would be in a game at a time. Seven people. That was in the beta. And now we just have three people on a team. This really has gotten worse. Very disappointed with this so far. Um, however, hopefully things will get better. Hopefully more people will start to play this. Um, because this game is so fun. I used to have like... I used I had Madam Pomfrey. I had Madam Pomfrey, right? That's who that is, right? Or is that Madam Hooch? That's Madam Hooch. I had Madam Hooch. I already have the Firebolt too. So, also like, what are the Moonstone? What's Moonstone used for? Because it's not the Vault. You get the winged keys from here. But like, wh what do I use Moonstone for? I don't know. Hopefully this game gets better, because um, right now I'm very disappointed with this game. Especially after how fun the beta for this game was. Um, so yeah, hoping this gets better as, you know, this gets farther into development. Because this game just came out. But I was so happy with the beta, and I'm so disappointed with this so far. I don't know. Let's look at Steam. I'm going to end this. I'm going to go... I'm going to pull up Steam reviews and I'll come back. Okay. So we're into the reviews now. We're looking at the reviews. So we're going to go ahead and click negative, mainly because I have a feeling the negatives are going to be closer. Cannot recommend this game now. It was better in the playtest than it is now. It was a competitive multiplayer sports game. I genuinely considered the playtest build one of the great games... I had played, I tried to shoot, try shoehorn RPG elements into the campaign, makes sense, but I'm at a loss for words. So that'd be like a Rocket League, uh, yeah. After one game, I'm disappointed. Look, 3v3, no 6v6, we had 6v6 in the playtest in the beta, and you're not going to give it here? We had 6v6, full Quidditch, except we only had one, you could only, you could only have one beater. Um... Yeah, it's, yes, 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 I agree with these. I played this during one of the beta tests, and it was incredibly fun. As I've seen a lot of comments remark, it was very similar to Rocket League, a fast-paced 5v5 game you could get lost in for hours. I was supremely excited, ex supremely excited for the release. My friends and I would periodically remind each other of the release date when it was officially announced. That's how excited we were, but bought it on the release date, which was my mistake because somehow they backtracked and made the game worse. Instead of a full party game, instead of a full party of friends to play fast paced competitive game, able to swap roles among your team if people are doing poorly slash not having fun in a role, it somehow became a 3v3 with AI bots that you have to manage and control by swapping between separate characters on the field. I have no idea how they got from here. They were saying they have to roadmap to 5v5 and 6v6. When the play test I participated in was clearly centered around that very concept. I strongly recommend not purchasing this game until they either fix this or update the game to a more complete status. TLDR, beta was much more fun. Official release did not deliver on what beta presented. I completely agree. And if you don't believe me that I was a playtester, I have it right here. I played for 18 and almost, I played for 18.2 hours in the playtest. And... It's worse now than it was whenever I did the playtest. It is about a thousand times worse. 
I don't have any rewards from my playtesting experience. I bought a ton of stuff in playtesting. Not with money, because they didn't let you do that. But I had bought a ton of skins. I had a bunch of stuff in the playtest version. I had this Ron. I had this skin in playtesting. And now I can't get it? I had this exact skin in playtest in the playtesting. And I don't and why don't I have it anymore? Why is there no proof of me being in the playtest? But as you can see, I clearly was a part of the playtest because it's listed in my Steam account. Warner Brother Games and whoever else was a part of this, who who officially released this? Warner Brother Games and Unbroken Studios. It looks beautiful. I'm very happy with the way the game looks compared to the playtest. Because in the playtest, we had one map. And it was this map right here. But apart from having this, apart from it looking better, everything has gone backwards. I even paid for the deluxe edition. Because I was this ex that w I was that excited about this game that I paid for the deluxe edition. Um, the PS One Hagrid skin thing is kind of cool. However, I am very disappointed. They took a big step backwards. Um, I. I want the 7-on-7 seven seven back in the game. That's the first thing that needs to be put back into this game. Um, I'm going to write a review for this because I'm disappointed in this game. Entirely disappointed. Um, I think a lot of the people that are giving positive reviews didn't get a chance to play in the playtest. Um, and so, yeah, I'd understand why. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll come back tomorrow with hopefully a more positive video. And yeah, take it easy and peace out everybody.